there! You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Sometimes at night, do you wonder if you're seeing a creepy crawly in your room? Lots of yeses, Bear. Well, Kamila is seeing creepy crawlies. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what Kamila sees. Kamila Chung and the Creepy Crawlies, written by Elwin Otto. Daddy, do creepy crawlies eat people? asked Kamila. Of course not, answered Daddy. It was bedtime again at the Chung house, and Kamila did not want to go to sleep. Kamila snuggled Puffy Pig and looked around her bedroom with wide eyes. Daddy, are you sure creepy crawlies don't eat people? I'm sure, answered Daddy. Who told you that? Joey Jordan. Daddy frowned. He's telling you stories. Kamila scowled. I'll never listen to his stories again. Daddy smiled. I think that's a good idea. Kamila smiled back. Me too. Daddy kissed her goodnight, turned off the light, and closed the door. Kamila snuggled Puffy Pig and looked around her dark bedroom. She froze. A giant shadow was on her wall. It had two long tentacles on its big head, a large belly, and too many arms. Creepy crawlies, she gasped, sinking down into her mattress. Kamila yanked the covers over her head and didn't move. She was too frightened to run to Daddy's lap or to call for help. Maybe if she stayed like this, the creepy crawly would go away. Kamila slowly pulled the covers down under her eyes and took a quick peek around her room. The creepy crawly was still there watching her. How was she going to get rid of it? She curled up under the covers and lay there for a long, long time before falling asleep without an answer. The next night, Kamila snuggled with Floppy Bunny and looked around her bedroom with wide eyes. Mommy, do rabbit's feet give you good luck? Of course, answered Mommy. Who told you that? Miss Cannon read us a book about rabbits. Mommy smiled. I'm glad you paid attention. Camilla smiled back. Me too. Mommy kissed her goodnight, turned off the light, and closed the bedroom door. Camilla squeezed Floppy Bunny's foot and looked around her dark bedroom. She froze. A giant shadow was on her wall. It had two long tentacles on its big head, a large body, and too many arms. The creepy crawly was back. Kamila yanked the covers over her head and didn't move. She was too scared to run to mommy's arms or to call for help. Maybe if she stayed like this, the creepy crawly would go away. Kamila slowly pulled the covers down under her eyes and took a quick peek around her room. The creepy crawly was still there watching her. The rabbit's foot hadn't worked. 
something more than luck was needed to make the creepy crawly go away. Maybe if she stayed hidden, it wouldn't touch her, but she couldn't hide forever. Kamila curled up under the covers and decided to ask Mommy and Daddy for help in the morning. The next night, Kamila plugged in her brand new nightlight. She crawled into bed with Raggy Maggie. Daddy, do night lights really help at bedtime? She asked. Of course, answered Daddy. Do you remember what the store clerk told us? Kamila nodded. If something in the dark isn't right, all you need is a little light. Daddy smiled. I'm glad you paid attention. Kamila glanced at the nightlight, then at Daddy, and smiled back. Me too. Daddy kissed her goodnight, turned off the light, and closed the door. Kamila shut her eyes and squeezed Raggy Maggie. She held her breath and slowly opened one eye. A giant shadow was on her wall. It had two long tentacles on its big head, a large belly, and too many arms. The creepy crawly was back, and this time it had brought a friend. The second creepy crawly had gigantic legs that stretched all the way down another wall and across the floor. The legs were almost touching her bed and getting closer every second. Mommy! Daddy! Kamila screamed. Mommy and Daddy burst into her room. Mommy held her close. What's wrong? Daddy asked, stroking her hair. There are creepy crawlies in here, Kamila cried. Where? Daddy asked. Kamila pointed to the walls where the creepy crawlies lived. Mommy stared at the walls. You'll have to sleep with us tonight, she said. And tomorrow we'll call the exterminator, Daddy added. What's an exterminator? asked Kamila. A person who gets rid of creepy crawlies, Daddy replied. The next night, the exterminator came to Kamila's house. She followed Kamila, Mommy, and Daddy into Kamila's bedroom. Where are these creepy crawlies? the exterminator asked. Kamila pointed to walls where the creepy crawlies lived. The exterminator walked around the room. She searched under the bed, looked in the closet, and poked through the shelves. What are you looking for? Kamila asked. The creepy crawlies hiding places, replied the exterminator. Can I help? Of course said the exterminator. Kamila searched around the bedroom too. The exterminator scrunched up her eyes and her nose and sniffed. Why are you doing that? Kamila asked. I'm trying to sniff them out, replied the exterminator. Kamila scrunched up her eyes and her nose and sniffed too. Oh, I get it, the exterminator said. I think I found a creepy crawly. She picked up the spider plant on Kamila's windowsill. Kamila giggled. That's a plant. The exterminator smiled. Sure it is, when the lights are on. Watch what happens when the lights go out. She put the plant back down. Kamila grabbed her parents' hands. The exterminator turned off the light. 
they stared at the walls. Long, spindly arms reached for them. Kamila looked from the spider plant to the shadow on the wall. Kamila waved her hand in front of the spider plant and wiggled her fingers. She pretended to tickle the spider plant's shadow and laughed at how silly it looked. Mommy, Daddy, and the exterminator laughed too. Now that she knew the creepy crawly was only the spider plant's shadow, Camila wasn't afraid anymore. Where's the other one? Camila asked. Turn on your nightlight and we'll find out, said the exterminator. Camila hesitated. It's okay, Mommy said. Camila turned on the nightlight. The creepy crawly with the gigantic legs had appeared. The exterminator searched the room again. She took trinkets off the dresser lifted dolls from their stands, and pulled stuffed animals from their shelves. Camila, Mommy, and Daddy helped. Camila looked at Fuzzy Frog, who was hanging from her headboard. She picked him up. The second creepy crawly disappeared. I found it, Camila cried triumphantly. Mommy and Daddy smiled. All the creepy crawlies are gone. My work is done here, said the exterminator. Camila scooched over on her tummy and carefully peeked under her bed. Then she looked up at the exterminator and with a shiver said, Can you get rid of monsters too? There's wondering. Do you think Camila will ask for a light to shine under her bed? Most say yes, Bear. A little light helped her before. Well, Bear's asking, is it a smart idea to ask your parents for their help when you're scared? Many yeses. Bear says he asks, and he hopes you will too. He's also hoping you come back soon for more adventures in solving problems with a little help. Bye for now. <laughs> Please subscribe.